All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day here in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas, where I am thrilled to be back on the rock where this all this crazy little social experiment began almost 10 years ago. Do you believe we are six months away from our 10 year anniversary here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe? And I might have a big announcement about Humpty Dumpty Tribe then, I'm thinking about it. But anyway, right now it is a spectacularly gorgeous day in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas, under the cap trail streaked skies. This, uh, the cap trail show. <laughs> it is a good thing I don't believe in those pesky old chemtrails. Or, uh, you know, I've, I've spent many a time on this, much time on this rock in the early years talking about chemtrails. I remember sitting here eating my tinfoil hat on this rock. When was that? About five or six years ago when I pulled my head out of my ass about chemtrails and understood what they are is an unintentional byproduct of global industrial civilization, yet certainly still a sign of the end times. But uh, while I'm waiting for my gas sucking lawnmower and my gas sucking truck, to get tinkered with. I just have some time to kill on this rock today and uh, in the ruins of Williamson Creek. So what is, there are so many. I really appreciate uh, all of you guys sending me all of these stories. Good Lord, I could throw a dart for the We Are So Fucked headline uh, right here on the mainstream media. Uh, I was going to do, I might come back to a good news story, hallelujah, the U.S. fertility rate has dropped for the fourth year in a row, fourth year in a row, but they make sure you understand that the population of the United States is still rising, 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 because Donald Trump won't get that damn wall built. It's them Mexicans to blame for the increase in population, but uh, anyway, three cheers for the U.S. fertility rate falling for the fourth year in a row. But uh, we're going to go right here. I love this. You know, the French news service, AFP, they have this desk called Relax News. Relax News. And, you know, use Relax News, you know, it's kind of where they do these, you know, these little warm and fuzzy, soft feature stories about, you know, just this clueless moron crap about whatever, uh, some uh, cap trail spewing flight or whatever. But this is the one they came out with on Thanksgiving. This is a way to relax from the French news service Relax News Desk. All right, it's time to relax, guys, because the climate crisis is here. Get used to it. Right next to the climate crisis is here. Get used to it. They suggest what to read next. Damaged coral reefs could be restored using underwater loudspeakers. Yes, they're talking about uh, what, what they're talking about in the loudspeaker story, which really is hilarious. Uh, they're, what they're doing is they're going to all of these dead coral reefs and playing these loudspeakers, these audio recordings of what a healthy coral reef is supposed to sound like to attract fish 
Uh, and it's actually working. These, these clueless fucking moron fish are falling for it. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, anyway. But we're going to get back to reality at the uh, relaxed news desk. Get back from the uh, stereo and the and the Great Barrier Reef to the climate crisis is here. Get used to it. Yes. All right. Look who's showing up right here in the first line. When teen climate activist Greta Thunberg nominated for the Peace Nobel this year, uh, and of course she did not get it because of that little talk she did at the United Nations is what lost her the Nobel Peace Prize, scolded, when Greta Thunberg scolded the titans of industry in Davos, Switzerland and heads of state at the United Nations, she told them to look at the science. You tell them, Greta. Excellent advice, Greta but not for the faint of heart. If economics is, quote, the dismal science, research on global warming has become the science of our dismal future. Four blockbuster reports from the United Nations just over the last year have made it inescapably clear that the window of opportunity for avoiding serious consequences from our meddling with Earth's climate system has slammed shut. Thank you, French News Service Relax News Desk, for cutting the fucking bullshit about the narrow window of opportunity. That, that line of shit that we've been hearing, that line of shit showed up in 1948 in our plundered planet, talking about the rapid clo rapidly closing window of opportunity to uh, save the planet. And thank you, finally, here in the mainstream media, the goddamn window of opportunity slammed shut right about 19. 70. All right, where were we? Back to the closed window. The impacts, in other words, are already upon us and will get worse, perhaps far, far worse before they get better. With one degree Celsius of warming above pre-industrial levels, the world has already seen a crescendo of tropical storms swollen with more moisture and made more deadly by rising seas. A larger expanse of ocean warm enough to incubate these cyclones has spawned devastation in regions. Mozambique was hit twice this year rarely affected in the past. Erratic monsoons in South Asia shedding too much or too little rainfall at the wrong time. Deadly heat waves over the last 18 months in East Asia, Europe and North America. Warming at the poles twice the global average, wreaking havoc on infrastructure and fueling wildfires. All are a foretaste of things to come, scientists warn. On current trends, our greenhouse gas emissions will heat the planet's surface another three or four degrees by 2100, or seven or eight or 10. Even if all nations gathering this week in Madrid for yet another round of UN climate talks honor their hilarious carbon cutting pledges under the 2015 Paris Agreement will add at least two degrees. The first of the 1,000 page special reports 
delivered by the IPCC in October last year reset the threshold for a climate safe world from 2C to one and a half. Yeah, right, one and a half. Across a wide range of impacts, an extra half degree of warming was found to make a large difference, even the difference between life and death. 70% of the tropical corals upon which half a million people and a quarter of marine species depend on are projected to disappear at the one and a half sea world. Half the corals in the Great Barrier Reef are already gone. But of course, as they say in the next story, uh, that's only a temporary blip because they're putting loudspeakers of, to save the coral reef. It's doing nothing to save the coral reef. It's just trying to trick the fish into believing their ears, if not their eyes. Anyway, okay. In a 2C world, however, corals will all but disappear. That report concluded humanity must fundamentally change the way we produce, distribute, and consume almost everything, starting with energy. Okay, next up was a UN report revealing that a million species, one in eight, now faces extinction. Five times in the last half billion years abrupt natural calamities have tipped the planet into a mass extinction event with at least two-thirds of all life forms unable to adapt. Today, it is human activity that has triggered a mass die-off with species vanishing at 10 to 100 times the normal background rate or more. Okay. In August, the IPCC released an assessment of how we use and abuse land. Deforestation, unsustainable agriculture, destruction of ecosystems. The global food system responsible for one quarter of carbon pollution must be overhauled from top to bottom, both to ensure that 10 billion people can eat their fill in 2050 and to tame global warming at the same time, the UN body warned. The final tome in the quartet looked at oceans and Earth's frozen spaces known as the cryosphere. The world's two ice sheets atop Greenland and Antarctica have shed more than 430 billion tons of mass every year since 2005 and are now the main drivers of rising seas on track to surge a meter higher by 2100. The very conservative report concluded. Some studies project a two meter call that about six and a half feet increase by centuries end, but all the experts agree. All experts agree that sea level rise will accelerate after that and continue for centuries redrawing the world's coastlines. Some 300 million people will find themselves in flood zones by 2050 according to even more recent findings. Most alarming of all, scientists agree, is the threat of runaway global warming, a scenario in which man-made carbon pollution triggers the release of greenhouse gases from natural sources, such as the permafrost in Siberia and methane formations in shallow Arctic seas. Several times in Earth's distant past, its climate system has tipped into a new stable state, a hot house Earth that was 10 degrees C, 12 C, even 14 C 
hotter than today. None of this, of course, means that humanity should collectively, collectively throw up its hands in despair. This is Tim Linton, uh, director of the Global Systems Institute at the University of Exeter, quote, we are going to have to adapt to some changes that may now be unavoidable, but the fact that we start to see some unexpected shifts in the system should give us an extra impetus to meet the Paris goal of limiting the warming as close to one and a half C as we can. Yes, uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think that is a fine Monday morning survey under the cat trail streaked skies of Austin, Texas. But now that I have finished ranting about the collapse of the planet for the second time here on my rock. I'm going to have to climb down to the rock and see what I owe the lawnmower repairman and the gas sucking truck mechanic so I can keep this fossil fuel economy right on humming along. I am doing my part on this gorgeous day to bring down this planet and I highly advise you get out there and enjoy what's left of this gorgeous planet while you still can. Bye guys. Yes. Are you ready to get off this rock? Yes, I'm ready to get off this rock because I think I might see swirlies up there. But there's coyotes around here. You're going on your leash. I know that you want to chase squirrels and stuff like that, but there's coyotes. There's lions and tigers and bears down here in this wasteland. Bye, guys.